Good morning, everyone. We are a little more than an hour into the trading session. We're seeing mixed grain prices and mostly lower livestock. This is Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions Market Minute. It's Tuesday, October the 1st. Uh, as always, go to our website and sign up for our daily newsletters where we take an in-depth look at all the news yesterday. Tonight's newsletter, uh, we will take a, a large look at what we can expect from the October supply and demand report from the USDA. Seeing a little strength in corn and soybeans here. No private export sale announcements this morning. There was a Newswire report confirming that. China has agreed to buy a million tons of U.S. soybeans after tariff waivers have been enacted. So we're seeing a little follow-through strength in the beans. We're fact, we're the highest level since late July in the soybean market. Corn futures were a little lower early, have since turned firmer, and the wheat is mostly lower on um, better rain chances for the Southern Plains this weekend. That should allow some uh, winter wheat seedings in uh, very beneficial conditions. Cattle futures mostly lower. The show list numbers are larger than the trade had expected, about 263,000 head. That'll weigh on the cash markets this week, and futures appear to be a little bit overvalued and technically overbought. Hogs had a sharp day yesterday, giving most of that back today with uh, triple-digit gains now over 200-point losses noted in the hog futures. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you again soon.